Welcome to Grim Fandango Remastered. Yeah. He was gaming. Yeah. I'm eating smart food. Yeah. Do we want to show the cutscene? Uh, we might as well record it. I don't know if we can actually. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Royce. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. Hey, just your appearance. Uh, this is intimidating. Intimidating me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> well, you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. <laughs> Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip, and I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. How can it be dangerous if he's dead? You would you take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us? I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's on top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? <laughs> well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Yaha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You can give me a lift. Oh, I can't <laughs> leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. <laughs> oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks, you dead and no commission, low life cases like yours, man. So, mm. hey Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere, especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for oh. anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. <clears throat> I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. So this is the game. Hmm. Oh. Isn't this interesting and fun? So far so good. I need to see if, um... Okay, cool. So the capture is working. Or the mouse cursor is anyway. All right, let's look at it. Looks like I got a message. All right, so <laughs> let's take it. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. <laughs> Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. All right, so that's our plot. Whatever you say, Iffy. Uh, there's nothing there. Okay. Okay. Whoa. So my scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. <laughs> it's some sort of special work order. It's some sort of special work order. Okay. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. All right, you gonna take over? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. No, fuck not. So I've never played Grim Pandango before. I've never even heard of it. It's weird because I I heard of it for a long, like long time before that. Also, it does not automatically save. So. So how do you? Oh, save. Yeah. What'd you hit? Save. Escape. Escape. Okay. Cool. So. We'll have to keep that in mind so we don't fuck up and accidentally delete all oh, our progress. Run. Okay, good. Yeah. What? He can run. You hold shift. And he okay. runs. 
Cool. That's good. That's good to know. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> I was just about to be like, like, oh, he's talking right next to her. Like she's not gonna hear him. <laughs> That's great. I don't know. Is there a no map? Yeah. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. To be honest. Oh well, it's, that's why we play to figure it out. Kind of a what? Whoa! Okay. It's a pinata. It's a pinata it's a balloon. Giant pinata balloon with no strings. Yeah, because we're in the land of the dead. Looks like some sort of crafty money. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Hmm. Practicing what? Ringing your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> uh, twist, twists up some balloons. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. <laughs> you too? <laughs> Is that where I just came from? Yep. Here's yeah, well, do you want to go back to the office? Because she said wait for your boss. Yeah, the yeah, but then I was like, maybe, whoa, okay, I don't know where I am, but we're gonna go here. I, there's middle, gotta be, like, the road. um... I escape again. Uh, you only have two things. I escape and see if there's anything back there. No. Okay. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't <laughs> be standing here. Yeah, you know, back in the road. So I'm pretty sure there's more areas to explore. Probably. Probably go left or right at the end of that hall, right before the door or something. What? Yeah, you clicked on a thing and I was gonna go look at it. Oh. Let's see, where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Mm hmm. It's locked. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's over there? It's locked. Everything's fucking locked. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Mm hmm. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Teamwork. Teamwork. That's fucking teamwork. Good stuff. I hold shift it's and you click. Position. That's cool with me. It's not my favorite. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order from Zanzibar! This man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Well, well, he wanted to talk to me, didn't he? Talk to her. I am. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Oh, go to the poisoning. Uh, Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? <laughs> yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. Fuck you. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. <laughs> All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Nah. <laughs> what poisoning? That's the one that what the dog was about. The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Okay. Okay. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay. You show those bricks a lesson. <sighs> I um, like her. She's sassy. She is very is there, sassy. Is there anything to the left? That thing? I mean, not that you fucking just went downstairs or anything, but... <sighs> People have tried, but they never came back. Whoa, that's that's pretty creepy. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want to oh, fucking sorry. turn on sticky keys, Mr. Shift Hitter. Shift <laughs> Hitter. Uh. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Yeah. 
there you go. That's using your noggin. Hey, service. Hey, who the? <laughs> Holy jeez. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Really? Hey, you a driver? Me? Huh? No, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just rent them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, e driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, I oh, his little no. ears wiggle. Sorry, can't rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Hmm. Yeah, um... Cars are just too small. Uh, you're just you're right, sure. I think, maybe. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. Please. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. Oh. I could lose my job. No, a work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without huh. one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything <laughs> around here is just too small. He is pretty giant. <laughs> I don't know how he fits in that little thing. What is this? I don't know. What is it, Clint? I've got to get this work order signed. Oh, it's like the next thing you gotta do. All right. So next time we're gonna go get that work order signed. With more riveting action no. gameplay from Grim Fandango. I mean, it's cool, but yeah, there's not really a whole lot of exposition. In. Well, there's a lot of exposition, but there's not a lot. Yeah. I don't know. It's definitely like a a fun experience. It's interesting. I'll give it that. Yeah, it is very interesting. That won't help it get signed. All right. Well, next time. We'll next see time. you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>